Thank you. And Thank you, you live nearby? I live on the Esplanade in sure subsidized housing. Okay. Um, and I notice you're in a wheelchair. I use a power wheelchair. I have cerebral palsy. I'm also bipolar. I was arrested during my mental illness. I, I was in the dawn without my wheelchair oh, and the oh, other yeah. inmates were helping me to the bathroom and I was in psychosis. I think I thought I was Jesus or God. I don't remember everything because I was in psychosis. And because of my physical disability, I got the help I needed quicker than the other able-bodied people. There were people there that were... <laughs> there were people there that didn't look disabled. And they needed help and support. And I managed to get the supports I needed so much faster because of my physical disability. And that was a blessing because you can see my physical disability. There's people that need supports out there. My mental illness has been my greatest challenge. My physical disability, for me, I can only speak for myself can't speak for other disabled people. It's such a unique experience, but for me, my mental illness took me to places, took me to jail. It, I was stigmatized because I showed up at Dominion in the nude thinking I was Jesus and I was demanding all food be free. The only reason why I know I did that is because I was banned from Dominion, which is now called Metro. I went to go do my grocery shopping and the manager said, you are banned from this store. You are not to come in here. I said, why? And he told me what had happened. I didn't recall. And I was ar arrested that night and put into restraints in a, in a, in a, in, in, in a psych ward. Or in, and that these experiences has really taught me that there are disabilities and challenges that we don't see. And that, the mentally ill among us are geniuses. There's real inspiration right in on. what they're presenting to us. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. this thing called Mad Pride in Toronto, and that was last. Yeah. Yeah. Last I'm just learning about what that means to be proud of of my experience as a psychiatric survivor because we spend so much time being ashamed of who we are and. Please, be, I gave the psych nurse a link to my website, and when she saw my dance pictures, it was like I was savable to them all of a sudden. It was like they saw the beauty that is me through those pictures, and all of a sudden they, they allowed me to get a haircut, they let me shave, take a shower, and I didn't smell as bad. It's hard to explain what it's like when they think you're crazy and when you've done something illegal because I had three assaults causing bodily harm when I was mentally ill I, I don't remember what I did I, I just remember I was charged with three assaults causing bodily harm and the crown won it for three or four years in jail and I got three years probation and a suspended sentence but regardless of that I never thought I would be charged with assault causing bodily harm I don't know what I did. And that's a hard thing to admit. These are really intense issues. And inclusion means allowing someone who happens to be experiencing a psychosis to ramble and get out whatever it is that they need to. And I know, I remember somebody got punched or something. There was something, this stuff can happen. It's a complicated issue and I understand yes. this. I'm not. I'm not criticizing anybody for anything that's happened. Mistakes are made all the time for all of us, but what I'm yeah. trying to say is inclusion isn't always pretty. Yeah. And, and, we, and we don't so, ask anything in return, you know? We, we know, don't. We know that this is a, a huge homeless park, and I know we're, this is the site that we chose to do our fight from, and we know that there's a lot of homeless people. There, we know there's a lot of people with mental health issues. We don't ask anything in return. We feed so many people. You, they you need blankets. Me. You need a tent. You need anything. We're here. And 
and we know it ain't easy. And I'm gonna know, stay, even though I have my own apartment. I want to stay another night at the park, not because not because it's hard, but because the connections I've made with the homeless, with with my native yeah. brothers and sisters that happen to be addicted to alcohol for whatever reason. Yeah. I mean, I know instinctively that I can't drink alcohol because my my mom's side is First Nation, and I grew up around alcoholism. And for whatever reason, maybe because we we as First Nations, or it doesn't matter if we're mixed, we just haven't been drinking alcohol for 2,000 years. I don't know the full science behind it, but I know instinctively that I not to drink so that's for me but I don't I, I don't judge others that do it's, it's a weird thing I'm kind of learning how to take people as they happen because how are we going to help each other if if we don't somehow sit down and sing with with a bunch of quote unquote dysfunctional people but there was beauty within the dysfunction and somehow we found a consensus within the craziness it's hard to explain when you're looking into somebody's eyes and they look like a child all over again even though they're drunk out of their mind and you see that child just wanting to be a part of the music and he got a little rowdy and excited and we just went shh but we didn't kick him out nope we just allowed him to be drunk mm -hmm. and that's not always easy Another gentleman, I was out of my wheelchair and I crawled into the gazebo because there's no ramp, but who cares? I can crawl up the stairs. And I was a bit scared that people were going to fall on me, but I gently, I gently let people know where I was and when we were looking after each other. And somehow, even through the chaos, there was a sense of safety. I don't know how to explain that. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how to explain it, but. But there is some real power, even in our most seemingly dysfunctional, most vulnerable moments. And I'm not ashamed to say that I'm a psychiatric survivor. I'm not ashamed to say that I was arrested because I was mentally ill. I'm not ashamed of having cerebral palsy. I'm not ashamed of being fat. I'm not ashamed of I'm not ashamed of being who I am. And there's real power in that. And I believe personally, if we just, if we just feel that together, somehow we can work through all the craziness. Yeah. But we just have to allow ourselves to be crazy. Right on. Right thank on. you. Oh, thank, thank you, Frank. you. Thank you. And uh, you got uh, so much respect from the live the streams here. Everyone was just giving you so much support. Kathy Ian said, "No shame. You are beautiful." Yes. <laughs> And if they do, they go like this. Mm. Yeah. My you best know? friend is bipolar. Too bad she's not online right now with you. 